Thanks for joining us for the interview portion of the Data Speaks competition, created in partnership with RFG 2018 and Sequent. My name is Anna, and I am a project geologist at Sequent, and I'm joined today by Hannah from the University of Ottawa. Hannah, your original abstract title was the Effects of Weathering on Leaching Properties of Slag from a Niobian Mine, Oka, Quebec. Tell me what your revised abstract title is. So my revised abstract title is The Environmental Impact of Slag from a Niobium Mine located in Oka, Quebec. Great. Um, so what question are you trying to answer? Well, the question that I'm trying to answer is whether um, mine waste from an old abandoned mine site in Oka, Quebec is an environmental concern. And more specifically, what I'm concerned with is whether the radioactive elements, such as uranium and thorium, that are in the mine waste are being released into the environment. Okay. Um, what concept does somebody need to know to understand your research? Definitely the most important concept in my research is the concept of weathering. So if it weren't for weathering, the mine waste at the site would just exist as a solid that's separate from the environment and there wouldn't be any interactions. But because of weathering, which is basically breaking down of a rock over time, you have interactions between the, the mine waste and the environment. And this can cause the, like, the radioactive elements, which are the elements of concern, to be dissolved and then flow into the environment. All right, okay. Um, so tell me what role does data play in your research? Um, well, the role of data in our research, and I think for most scientists, is that it's used to verify the conclusions that you have. So any time that you get data, you're looking to see what does this mean, what's the larger picture of that, and that's what supports your conclusions at the end of the day. And for me, I'm collecting data from the environment, also collecting data from the mine waste, and the environmental data can just be like temperature, or rainfall data, but in terms of, but that has larger impl implications for what's coming off of the mine waste. And then from that, you can look at projects for cleaning up the mine space or projects in the future around that, if that's what the data tells you that needs to be done. Okay. And um, why is it important for you to share this data and your research? Um, I think it's important to share your data for collaboration and also for connection between researchers. So it benefits me to share my data because when you're sharing your data, you're making sure that you're producing really high quality data. If I know that someone that's a specialist in the field is gonna be looking at my research and is maybe gonna be listening to my presentation, I'm gonna produce the highest quality research that I can and that's gonna advance science a lot more. But also on the flip side of that, me sharing my research, me presenting it, me going to conferences like this is allowing for me to share my ideas and for people to think that, hey, maybe I can apply this to another area, maybe an area that has similar radioactive ways, maybe an area that has a different contaminant altogether, but the methods that I use to assess, the, to get my data would be beneficial for them to collect a whole different data set, but for the same purpose. Awesome, okay. Well, thank you so much, thank Hannah, you. for joining us. Um, once again, this is Data Speaks, a competition created in partnership with RFG 2018 and Sequent. You can watch the videos on YouTube or Twitter with the hashtag SeeDataSpeak.